Hi, my name is Shravana and I have a website called Meritix.com where I blog about various creative interests that I have. Thank you so much for all your support so far. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little bookmarks with very minimal supplies just like the last video. So let's get started. For this project, you will be needing cardstock cut into 2 inch by 6 inch rectangles. If you don't have any cardstock, you can use construction paper or printer paper. You will also be needing a paintbrush, a black sharpie, some black acrylic paint, old newspaper, and most importantly, a leaf. I chose this leaf from my fig tree in the backyard. And when you're choosing a leaf for this project, make sure it looks something similar to this and has well-defined veins in the back. So let's begin. I started off by applying the black acrylic paint onto the back side of the leaf. Be sure not to put too much paint on the leaf, especially at the edges, as the shape of the leaf will not be defined when it is put on the paper. Make sure the whole surface is covered with a thin layer of paint. Do not paint the stem as I will be using it to transport the leaf onto the paper. When you are done painting the leaf, move it onto the bottom of the bookmark and press down on it to leave an imprint. I used a newspaper to do this so I can really press down hard on all the little edges and corners of the leaf. Once you are done with this, peel off the leaf from the paper and you should have a really pretty leaf imprint. Repeat this step once again to fill the top space of the bookmark. Another tip I have in order to get a good leaf imprint is to apply more paint on the veins of the leaf. This results in a more defined imprint and you can truly see all the little details of the leaf. Once the bookmark has both leaf imprints on it, leave it aside for it to dry and then move on to the next step. When the paint dries, grab a sharpie and carefully outline the leaves. I started off by drawing a small stem and continued with the entire outline. As always, use a thin point sharpie for a better outline of the leaves. Also, it will not bleed through the paper. Now, you are ready for the last step to complete this bookmark. To finish off the bookmark, I wrote a positive sentiment using the same thin point sharpie on the middle of the bookmark. As you can see, I wrote the word love just like the other bookmark displayed. As always, you can write whatever you want on this bookmark and make it your own. Now you have your very own pressed leaf bookmark. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun making these bookmarks and if you do end up making one, then please send me a picture. And as always, keep being creative.